so dear students today i am explaining this phase shift oscillator we discussed this already in the class uh, so somebody requested so i am doing here a video of revision so you know what is oscillator what is amplifier all those things so before going to directly uh, to the topic we should know what is barkhausen criteria for sustained oscillation you already know what is the condition for an amplifier to be an oscillator for an amplifier if we refer it as a oscillator there are two main condition the first one is the feedback must be positive you know how the feedback must be positive what is a posit positive feedback if we have a oscillator and i am providing we are providing some feedback beta here when we refer it as a positive feedback if this feedback beta this, this signal should increase the strength of this in, input this should be in phase with the input signal then only we refer it as a positive feedback so and the loop gain gain should be unity for a uh, oscillator for an amplifier to be an oscillator so barkhausen criteria explains for a sustained oscillation to get a sustained oscillation sustained means constant oscillation we need the, the oscillator should uh, allow this the, that is the oscillator should be the feedback of uh, os, uh, os, of oscillator or the loop gain should be one that is unity what do you mean by loop gain this is the feedback a is the open loop gain open loop gain multiplied with this feedback should be unity what is open loop gain if there is no feedback here the here is a voltage input voltage vi here it is v not so the gain a is equal to v not by vi we refer it as a open loop gain for a oscillator to be to get a sustained oscillation the feedback or the loop gain should be unity the second one is the net shift around the loop is 0 degree or integral multiple of 360 degree that means to get a sustained oscillation here for the output to input the total gain should be 0 that is uh, the total shift the phase difference should be 0 so the net shift around the loop the sh phase shift sh should be zero or it should be integral multiple of 360 degree these are required for the maintaining steady oscillation at a particular frequency so according to the classification based on the waveform this oscillators are classified into two types that is sinusoidal and non-sinusoidal this sinusoidal in this sinusoidal oscillator there comes the phase shift oscillator sinusoidal means the oscillator if the output is in the form of sine wave if it is in the form of sine wave refer, we refer it as a sinusoidal oscillator if the output is triangle or triangle wave or square wave we refer it as a non-sinusoidal oscillator so this is the circuit diagram you already know this it is containing two three set of rc circuit this c1 c2 c3 r1 r2 r3 in the input and we refer it as so there is three rc network at the input and r5 r3 at the base of this transistor and this is the collector r6 control the collector current r4 at the emitter okay now in the output we are having the capacitor c5 now let us learn about the principle of this the principle of this is the principle input provided with three rc combination as we know it produces a phase shift of 180 degree so the three rc combination that is each rc produces a phase shift of 60 degree for the signal it is uh, it uh, the totally the three rc circuit will give you 
180 degree shift in the circuit and the transistor produces a phase shift of 180 degree because of the amplification which is occurring in the transistor that will produce us 180 degree phase shift for the signal. Now working. In the working we know the single RC produces 60 degree phase shift. So 3 RC circuit provides 60 into 60 into 60. So 60 plus 60 into 6, uh, plus 60, 180 degree phase shift totally. So a particular frequency phase is 60 degree for a AC. So total 180 degree shift. How we can determine the angle? We know for a RC circuit, it is capacitive inductance to that of the resistance. So what is this value? What is the value of capacitive induct uh, that is capacitive reactance? That is 1 by omega c, right? 1 by ome omega c divided by r. That is 1 by omega c r. So, tan theta will give you 1 by 2 pi f into c r. So, I am taking the frequency here. 1 by 2 pi r c tan theta will give you the frequency. Okay. Each r c produces 60 degree of the phase shift that is theta is 60 degree to get this uh, that is we are considering tan 60 degree that is tan inverse of 60 degree we will get theta as root 3 right tan root 3 is 60 uh, that is uh, tan inverse of uh, 60 degrees root 3 so f is equal to what happens here tan root 3 1 by 2 pi rc tan root 3 if we consider r1 is nearly equal to r2 which is nearly equal to r3 which is equal to r we are considering and we are equalizing all this should be nearly equal capacitor c1 c2 c3 etc so for a transistor to set oscillation now we clear that because of the 3 rc circuit there is a 180 degree phase shift we need according to the barkhausen criteria we need 360 degree shift for the output to the input the total loop shift should be 360 degree here the transistor to set oscillation it is caused uh, oscillation is to get a oscillation amplified output noise inheritance this fa factor affect the transistor that is noise inheritance in a transistor the small amount of noise which is in the input of the transistor that will amplified okay the noise will amplified the minor variation in the voltage of the dc source this also affects the transistor output in the case of amplification of the signal that affects the minor variation in the source also affects the transistor so the output of the amplifier is will be giving you the phase shift of that is 180 degree shift rc produces 180 degree shift and that output of transistor will give you 180 degree shift so the total phase shift in the circuit is 180 degree and 180 degree that is 360 degree this is all about the working of this there it uh, allows or it obeys the Barkhausen criteria the phase shift should be uh, that is uh, for a loop phase shift to the output to the input should be one uh, 360 degree or in the multiple of 360 degree or it should be zero okay uh, here some other points that is from the R3 to R5 that is the emitter base bias uh, uh, that controls the emitter base bias R6 will control the collector voltage and R4 and C4 provides temperature stability and it prevent the AC signal degeneration here this R4 and C4 will controls the temperature stability and this will be controlling the output this, uh, the, the C5 is called output uh, that is uh, signal is coupled with the capacitor c5 here so that we will get a sustained oscillation when we will get the sustained oscillation when the loop gain is one if the loop gain is larger that is greater than beta a is greater than one the amplifier start or the less than one that amplifier start the oscillation okay 
continuously it will start increasing the ampli uh, that is uh, to amplify the uh, signal it will start amplifying the signal when the beta a becomes 1 there we will get the sustained oscillation in that case the net shift around the loop should be 0 or the uh, it the, the phase shift should be 0 degree or integral multiple of 360 degree so because of the 3 rc network here and the transistor we will get 360 degree uh, the total shift is 360 degree the advantages of this uh, rc phase shift oscillator the first one is it doesn't require any transformer or the inductor to produce signal and also the circuit provides provides good frequency stability so the stability is very good when beta a is uh, unity the it produces long time frequency stability and output is here pure sine wave and also this phase shift oscillator having uh, disadvantages many disadvantages uh, in that few uh, the few disadvantages difficult to start oscillation as feedback is very small as we are for because of the amplification of the noise the what we are getting the output by the transformer that is uh, by the transistor we are using here the output is very small we are feeding with this here we are feeding the output here by the transistor we are feeding the some amount of output to the input here because of the noise we are getting the amplified uh, output this feedback is very small the starting signals are very small so it is difficult to get to start oscillation as feedback is very small and the second one is small output of the circuit we will get the small output compared to the other oscillator and also it is not uh, suitable for variable frequencies many variable frequencies it is this phase shift oscillator is not suitable so thank you